Hi, welcome to your regular date with Cap Town. This is a regular show, of course, and uh, it seems fairly regular now for me to say hello, welcome to Cap Town, and welcome to our reigning champion, Anne Link. But I'm now going to do that for the last time. So, with great pleasure, I say hello and welcome to Cap Town, and welcome to our long reigning champion, Anne Link. Thank you. And of course, you know why it's the last time. It's only the last time temporarily. She's won seven games. Uh, on the trot in a most relaxed, charming and brilliant way. Uh, and of course, today is her last game, win or lose, but we shall of course see her in the quarterfinal later on. Her track record is absolutely terrific. Uh, she's got the highest score in the series with a 70. Uh, her lowest is a 36, just as the politicians say, I think a bit of a blip there. But otherwise her scores have been well up in the 50s and the 60s, 66 here, 61 there, uh, 52 there. It's been a terrific performance. So Anne, uh, we've much enjoyed uh, everything you've done, and we wish you well on your last, temporarily, uh, your last uh, performance today. Anne Ling Thanks, from Church Town in Dublin. All that, of course, can be no joy <laughs> <laughs> to the young man who's come to try and see her off uh, officially today. Mm. So welcome, a warm welcome to David Webb. David's from Leamington Spa in Warwickshire. He's a research student at the University of Warwick. He enjoys cryptic crosswords. He's been a Times regional finalist for five successive years. Uh, he also likes travelling. He's visited uh, Romania. Um, and it, uh, well, we were just wondering before the programme that if he visited Venezuela <coughs> uh, at uh, that time, he would have been Christmas crackers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just trying to be cryptic, David, but we weren't very good at it. Anyway, David, I hope that you are better than I am at this particular one. So, good luck to David Webb. Thank you. Well, David's a newcomer. We're delighted to have a newcomer in Dictionary Corner today. As you know, when anyone applies to be a contestant on Countdown, they have uh, a lot of processes to go through. You have to fill in a form, actually. It lists their background, their work details, their family, and their hobbies, all those sort of interesting things, favourite food, all these essential things you need to know if you're going to select people for a programme like this. Well, our guest in Dictionary Corner today, if he had to fill out one of these uh, forms, his CV would take a whole volume. Suffice it to say, he is a member of one of England's premier acting dynasties, his father, Robert Morley, his uh, mother-in-law, his grandmother, Gladys Cooper, as a producer and a performer, he was one of the pioneers of BBC Two. As a television and theatre critic, his work has graced The Times and Punch magazine, and he has written the biographies of some of Britain's biggest theatrical names. So will you please welcome our own VIP Sherry today, Sheridan Morley. Thank you. It's very nice to see you, and I declare an interest because I first met you when I, my first job in life was a uh, humble script writer on ITN, and you were a terribly grand producer at ITN. Uh, well, I was a mere child at the time, of course, but it's true. Now, at long last, my hour has come, a, a debut here, lovely to look at, delightful to touch, and here I am. <laughs> we, we go back a very long way. ITN was, uh, in our day, rather different from the way it is now. We had a rather more gentle and uh, easy life, I think, as newscasters in those days. Well, Sheridan, it's nice to see you looking absolutely so, uh, so very well. And uh, I will introduce you to Richard Sampson, because you haven't met him before. I am delighted to meet Richard. Uh, the mighty Sampson is with me to guide me through this uh, debut performance, and I am in safe hands. Thank you very much. Richard Sampson. Hello there. <laughs> and when Sheridan and I were scribbling away at ITN, just a twinkle in the eye of Mrs Vorderman was a young <laughs> Carol Vorderman. Here she is. That's right. <laughs> Hello. All right, David. Good luck to you, sir. And here you go. Right. A consonant, please, Carol. Certainly. You start, David, with T. 
Thank you. And another consonant, please. Nice way to start with T, isn't it? G. And a vowel, please. A. And a consonant, please. Q. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant. P. And another consonant, please. V. A vowel. That's E. And finally, a consonant, please. Right. Doing away with the Q this time, we have L. Thank you, David. That's your first choice, so here's a countdown for the first time. Q, no you, so I suppose eight's the best we can go for, David. Uh, just five, I'm afraid. Oh, you've got five, all right, Anne. Five. So you've got five, so let's hear... Let's hear Anne's five. Valet. Valet, yes. Uh, valet for five, David. And Platt. OK. Well, we're on five, Sheridan. I quite fancy ligate, L-I-G-A-T-E. And having said that, I think it's a... It's a surgical term, but I can't tell you any more than that, and I'm hoping we shall be able to verify it. Yes, indeed, Sheridan. Ligate. Um, it's a verb to ligate. It's a surgical term meaning to it tie is. up, as in Fantastic. to tie up an artery. Fantastic. OK, five and five. Not bad. And your turn, please. Uh, vowel, please, Carol. I. And another one, please. Another one, Anne. E. And another one, please. And another one, A. Uh, consonant, please. D. And another one, please. R. And another, please. X. <laughs> another one, please. Nasty letter again, I think. N. Another one, please. W. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. Hey. And E. Thanks, Carol. 30 seconds and counting. Not a very useful X there, Anne. Six. Six. David? Seven. Seven. All right, here are the six then, Anne. Warden or wander. Yes, OK. Warden or wander. No, a seven. Wearied. How do you spell that? W-E-A-R-I-E-D. Mm. Wearied. Mm. Well, of course, if you wander far enough, you'll be very wearied. Mm. And there it is. Yes, that's a seven. Good. That's a seven. All right. Excellent. I think our new boy over there is a bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to. I have to bow to the superiority of that one. I, I got to a. We got to a six here with uh, rained, but I think wearied is a is a triumph on seven. It I is. bow to you, sir. Oh. Yes, it is. well yeah. done, well done, David. <laughs> and it's your turn now for round three, David. A consonant, please, Carol. Y. And another consonant, please. F. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant, please. K. And another consonant, please. S. And a vowel, please. A. And a consonant, please. D. And another consonant, please. P. And finally a vowel. And finally a vowel, all right. And E. Thank you. Good. Very good, David. And here we go on the third selection. I'm afraid. We're five now this time. All right. Six. You've got six. Right here, the five, David. Spade. S-P-A-D-E. 
S B A D E. Ah, yes. Well, you're being very cryptic again by saying, ah, yes, we'll come back to you, but see how cryptic you're being. Spade. Yes. S P A Y E D. Ah. Mm. Yes, spade. <laughs> spade, S P A Y E D. Yes, now he sees it. There it is, spade. Okay, so the scores now. At the end of uh, three letters game, we have David on 12, and we have Anne on 11. So, one point in it as we now go to the numbers, and Anne's choice, please. Now, for the last time, Carol. Yes. <laughs> one, two, one, two. One please. from the top, then two, then one, and then two from the bottom. Giving us six, seven, ten, one, another six. And 25 Ooh. hasn't cropped up so much on the se this series so far. 288, nice low target. Okay, 288. Looks harmless enough, mm -hmm. Anne. 281. 281. So that's mm -hmm. seven away. Any nearer, David? 289. Well, that's obviously nearer. One away. Let's look at 289 then, please. Right. Six plus six. Six plus six is 12. Is 12. Times 25. Yes. 12 multiplied by 25 is 300. Minus 10 minus one is 289. It is indeed 289. Yes. Useful seven points for David. Um, any chance of a 10, do you think, on this one? Yes. Uh, if you say 6 plus 6 is 12, exactly the same way, 25 minus 1 is 24. Multiply those two together, you get 288. Well <laughs> All right. So the situation, end of part one, wise, is... David's being very wise because he's got 19. 19, taking the lead over Anne who's got 11. So that's the position. End of part one. And Sheridan, we was like a little uh, jolly anecdote or a little word of wisdom into the break. A word of wisdom, all right. Uh, nostalgia time. Coronation, 1953, before you were born. Noel Coward watching the procession from a balcony. Remember the Queen of Tonga? Great, enormous lady, larger even than me. And she came all the way from Tonga for the coronation procession. And she drove down the mall in a great open state coach in the, as usual, pouring rain. And beside her in the coach, little tiny man who was the Tongan ambassador in London, keeping her company on the journey. And Noel and some friends watching the procession. And someone said to Coward on the balcony, who is the little man down there in the coach with Queen Salote? And Noel peered across and said, well, I think it might be her lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is the man who wrote the biography of uh, Noel Coward. In fact, Noel personally asked you to do it, didn't he? So he was kind enough to do that. Yes, we might indeed. get one or two good uh, Noel Cowards in the next few days. Thanks very much indeed, and we'll see you again uh, for more uh, this and uh, many other things besides in part two. <laughs> yes, and welcome back, and things are hotting up here, I must say. A bit of a turn up for the book, as they say. Anne Ling, of course, you know very well all about Anne, but it's uh, suffering rather at the hands of David Webb. She's uh, 11 uh, and David is 19. So that's the position after four rounds, but of course there are five rounds still to come. So let's now go to Anne and see what letters she chooses. Uh, vowel please, Carol. U. Another one please. Another one. O. And another one please, Carol. And A. Uh, consonant please. N. And another one, please. Another one, and Y. And another one, please. C. And another, please. L. Another one, please. H. And a vowel, please. And vowel. And that is I. Thank you very much indeed. The counting down starts now.
Righty ho, Anne. Six. Six, says Anne and David. Seven. And seven. Six, please, Anne. Launch. Launch. Launch for six. And a seven coming up. Halcyon. Halcyon days. Yes, mm. indeed. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Lovely word. Well done. Mm. Yeah. Well, David, excellent performance there. Um, good. And it's your turn now. All right. Consonant, please, Carol. T. And another consonant. Another one, David. <laughs> Z. And a vowel, please. All right. I. And a consonant, please. G. And another consonant. R. And another vowel, please. Another vowel. E. And a consonant, please. S. And another consonant. L. And a vowel, please. All right. To end with A. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And here we go with this countdown. Seven. Another he likes his sevens, Anne. And seven. Are oh, you with a seven this time? Good. What's yours, Anne? Ligates. 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 Oh, ligates. Mm -hmm. Ah, pertaining to ligates. Ligates, as well. yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay, ligates mm -hmm. for seven, David. Realist. And realist. Mm -hmm. Ligates and realist. Two very good sevens there. Uh, Sheridan. I think I can do an eight. I, I started on, on, on ligates uh, from before, but then I, ch I have a slight Z problem. If I'm right... I can do you glaziers, which is G-L-A-Z-I-E-R-S. Mm -hmm. But that central Z is a, is a faint worry in case it turns out to be an S. If it's a Z, we're OK for eight. So can we check that? Your worries are found, Sheridan. Glaziers with a, with a Z. Hey, fantastic. <laughs> right, we're offering eight then. <laughs> OK, yes. Uh, glaziers with a Z. Good. For eight, that was an eight. But we're very happy with our sevens here. Well done to the David and Anne. And it's the last letters game now, Anne, please. Uh, and vowel, please. E. And another one, please. Carol. Another one, Anne. U. And another one, please. O. A consonant, please. S. Another one, please. H. Another one, please. W. Another, please. T. Another one, please. S. A... Vowel, please. And a vowel. And A. Thank you. Counting down from now. Seven. You're chancing mm -hmm. a seven. Right, your last letters game for the moment. And you're chancing a seven, right, David? Just six. You're chancing a six. So we'll hear your just six then. Houses. Houses. Well, safe as houses. That's obviously a safe word, but it depends on this risky seven. Well, uh, you hear it sometimes in cricket, uh, washout. Oh, a washout. Yes. And the weather's hyphenated. Yeah, well, the weather's a yeah, yes. Is it hyphenated? That's the point. Mm -hmm. Well, Richard will tell us. Richard Sanderson. Washout is not hyphenated, it's all one word. It's actually a geological term, meaning a narrow river channel that cuts into pre-existing sediments. There is also another way of, you can also have washout hyphenated, that must be pointed out, but it also appears as one single word. Good. Well, well done. That's uh, excellent for you. Very well done. I think we can just improve on that if we stay in the same area. If we go for outwashes as one word, which I, I think we're going to have to try as a noun, because if we try it as a, as a hyphen, it's not going to work. But I, I, isn't there a, a, an outwash, a kind of a river or a...? 
Well, I think, I think you're very clever, Sheridan. We actually have what? a nine-letter word here. Outwash is... We have got it. Yep, outwash is the material carried from a glacier by meltwater and deposited beyond the moraine. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Out wash it. It's good. Well, that's nice to see that. Well, that's uh, even things up a little bit because uh, 20 points available, 25 and 33 is the score, and it's numbers now from David. Right. One from the top, please. One from the top, David. And five small numbers. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. Giving us four, seven, six, five... Six and one hundred. And the target this time is eight hundred and ninety-two. Mm. Eight hundred and ninety-two. Eight, nine, two. Thirty seconds starting now. David. 892. Anne? 894. 894. Oh. oh, right. So let's go to David for 892. Right. 5 plus 4 is 9. Yes, 5 plus 4. That gives you 9. Times 100 is 900. Multiplied by the 100. That is indeed 900. Minus 7. Yes. And then 6 divided by 6 is 1. Yep. And take that away as well. I don't often do that, but you do, and you get 10 points. <laughs> Well done, David. Now keep your eyes down now. Don't relax because we're into the conundrum straight away. So if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. Yes, David, on five seconds. Obscenity. Obscenity. Horrid word, but yes. <laughs> Well, well, well. Horrid word. Obscenity. Um, but nothing obscene about the score. It's a wonderful score of 53 points. And would you believe the lady has been beaten? Mm -hmm. David Webb, the new champion of Countdown. Mm -hmm. well done, David. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's a marvellous performance. And uh, we've seen it happen before our very eyes. We congratulate you. Well, good, good conundrum, good numbers game and some good words. And, madam, what can I say? I'll say nothing, because we're going to see you later on. Please go But uh, the dictionary is, of course, off for you as a wonderful, wonderful champion. Seven marvellous games. And you lost to, I think, a, well, obviously a very bright chap. Obviously. Obviously. Thank you very much. And, of course, we've got our carrier bag full of countdown goodies as well. Oh, lovely. OK. <laughs> so we'll see you again in about, uh, oh, September. OK? Yeah, lovely. And Ling, see you in September. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sharon, we, we have no time, I'm afraid, for any of your anecdotes. Just have to say goodbye. Clear not. Come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> and coming back tomorrow uh, to take on David now is a lady by the name of Hattie Ison. So that's Hattie from Earlsdon in Coventry. So Hattie, hi to you, and we'll see you this side of the house next time. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>